COVID-19 is a virus which we didn't even know anything about some 18 months back. Now it is the reason behind millions of deaths globally. I won't talk about the real numbers, nobody knows them. I won't say if this virus is man-made or not or where it came from simply because I don't know. Your feeds, stories, timelines and YouTube suggestions are full of such videos and we are already highly exposed to a lot of information. The truth of this moment is that here in India, people are suffering and dying. And this isn't a failure of one or two, it's a collective failure. It's a failure of centre and state governments. It's a failure of every individual person in a system that has some sort of decision-making power. We all were so puffed up with our egos as last year India emerged as a global saviour by exporting a lot of raw material and life-saving medicines and supplies. We received global appreciation, which is good. So why is this nation choking now? Why are we running short on medical supplies and even the staff is now running short? Simply because neither the government nor the citizens learned anything from last year. We underestimated this whole situation and were living in denial of the intensity this disaster could unfold. India raised huge funds last year by its own citizens donating in government-run relief funds. Still, we failed to even prepare ourselves for this current situation. In fact, our health minister said India is in its end game with COVID. Such an Avenger fan he is. On one hand, people of this nation are standing united for each other and taking care of things the government was responsible for. There are so many stories coming up of wonderful deeds by so many people, from a man offering free coconut water to people outside medical facilities, to a man who drove 1400 kilometers to deliver an oxygen cylinder for a friend in need. Medical staff is also working 24-7. People are there for those in need. And on other hand, it's shameful how life-saving medicines and other supplies are being sold at exorbitantly high prices by some people. Some are even faking these life-saving medicines and injections and selling them at really high prices to the needy ones. What such people are seeing as an opportunity to make quick money isn't an opportunity. It's scavenging and it's inhuman. A lot of people kept and are still keeping a stock of such medical supplies for themselves without even needing it, just out of fear that they might need it in future. And because of this, the one who needs it now is suffering. We need to stop looking at each other just as consumers. Let's see each other as human beings. Stop thinking what you can sell others. Instead, think how you can serve others. There are signs of some relief, but it isn't over yet. Please take all the precautions and engage yourself in things would uplift you, but stay indoors. Humans do get a lot of reminders on a frequent basis. It's really high time that we reflect on what we do and how we do it. It's meaningless and we shouldn't even be interested in reaching the moon and Mars. If we can't even take care of ourselves here on Earth and people of this beautiful, ever-giving planet. Namaste.